ever wondered why you are two clicks away from being on your favourite site? The answer is large data. The internet is constantly monitoring and collecting your browsing history, and from that they can target ads for your favourite website and create a more personalised online experience. Biology is all around us, and it's something we have been exposed to since primary school. Ever since the success of the Human Genome Project, there has been a new dimension in biology, large and complex data. Physics has been using computers to handle large and complex data for many years already to solve the mystery of particle collision. However, large and complex data in biology is not so explosive. There are 3 billion base pairs in the human genome, which can be stretched out to 1.8 meters. How's that for big data? The cost of finding out your own 3 billion DNA base pair sequence has dropped dramatically. There is now so much work in proteomics, genomics, and metabolomics all around the world that requires supercomputers. Biologists are trying to dig deep into the world of genomes to uncover the basis of genetic disease and evolution. Scientists are embarking on countless other big data projects, including efforts to analyze the genomes of many cancers, to map the human brain, hoping to provide new insight into Crohn's disease, allergies, obesity, and other disorders. Before large data sets, scientists used a hypothesis-based research method. Now, however, we can generate raw data with the potential to answer important questions before knowing the questions that are even being asked. The human genome is where all the genes in one person are read and give information about what makes them, them. This could be having blue eyes, brown hair, or the likelihood of developing breast cancer. The more genomes of humans and organisms alike sequence, the better understanding of diseases causing harm to people around us. It has already led to the identification of BRCA1 and 2, genes behind hereditary breast and ovarian cancer. Audio jungle. There are many problems there, but the first one is the size. This ability to easily map a genome has developed very quickly over the past five to ten years, leading to a data revolution. Biological data, unlike physics data, which has an infrastructure which has taken years to perfect, is much more difficult to organize. This is because when looking at biological data, it is often not clear what you are looking at. This can lead to experiments running, which produce a meaningless mass of connectional data, which is too complicated to analyze. Well, the whole uh, uh, history of humanity until now is the same than the one that the internet produces every other month. So we generate lots of lots of data, and then many of the classical techniques just break down for those. As time passes, the problem of data looks as though it is bound to get worse more and more research projects from all over the biological sciences are producing more and more volumes of data. This issue is so important that in the States, a $200 million project called the Data Research and Development Initiative was started in 2012. And here in the UK, a similar project called the Big Data Technology Initiative have been launched to try and improve the tools and techniques used in large data sets so that we might be able to collate the large sets of data together in order to make something meaningful that can actually, as the BD2K mission re statement reads, foster an ecosystem that enables biomedical research to be conducted as a digital enterprise that enhances health, lengthens life, and reduces illness and disability. The internet was the first library of information, initially overwhelming. However, today, everyone knows how to use it and has almost constant access to it. Large data sets are currently a new phenomenon within biology, but with time, like the internet, it will integrate into the basis of research with the potential to revolutionize human medicine optimistic person so I think there is a bright future and I hope there is because that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> saying right yeah. now.